When the First World War broke out, the German army was equipped with a large number of machine guns and used new tactics, which temporarily overwhelmed the opponent. However, the German soldiers at the grassroots level still faced hardships, as the enemy was also a country with strong industrial capacity and creativity. The armored vehicles they provided to the military were a tough nut to crack. During the first few months of the war, German soldiers felt the threat posed by armored vehicles. At that time, there was no concept of anti-armor, and the main weapons of ordinary soldiers were rifles and hand grenades. They were at a disadvantage when facing armored vehicles equipped with machine guns in repeated engagements with the enemy. In 1915, Germany decided to try to build its own armored vehicles. At that time, armored vehicles were still relatively new to all countries. The few armored vehicles in service were basically modified from ordinary cars. Although they had a crushing advantage over infantry on the battlefield, they also had many inherent defects. The German High Command understood these issues and issued prototype vehicle orders to three automobile manufacturers. This was a competition, as they would choose the best prototype for mass production. The three companies each presented their own designs that year, and the German army grouped the three armored vehicles to send to the battlefield for field testing, engaging in combat on the Baltic, Western, and Eastern fronts. Perhaps influenced by actual combat, all three prototype vehicles had a large size and were equipped with multiple machine guns. This design approach was in line with the mainstream ideas of armored weapons at the time. Everyone tended to make armored vehicles or tanks into mobile fortresses. After field testing, the Earhart EV-4 armored vehicle emerged as the winner. It received a contract for 20 units in production, and the mass-produced armored vehicle differed slightly from the prototype, possibly due to some optimizations based on actual combat, resulting in a reduction of over one ton in overall weight. The Earhart EV-4 armored vehicle had a 4x2 chassis with solid tires, powered by an 80-horsepower gasoline engine. The engine compartment was located at the front of the vehicle, and the entire vehicle was equipped with 9mm thick armor, secured by riveting and bolt fixing. The front of the vehicle had a louver-style armored protection for the engine. The overall size of the armored vehicle was quite large, with a rotating turret above the crew compartment, housing a machine gun. There were multiple openings around the crew compartment, allowing for the installation of multiple machine guns as needed. In some old photos, we can see that the number of machine guns mounted was more than four. The large size of the vehicle naturally provided more interior space and security for operating so many machine guns. There was no fixed number of crew members inside the armored vehicle, generally eight to nine people. Apart from the driver and the vehicle commander, the remaining crew could operate at least three machine guns, which was a common number of machine guns. If the number of machine guns was increased, the corresponding personnel would also increase. After all, at that time, a single person could not operate water-cooled heavy machine guns continuously. Although the production volume was not high, the German evaluation of the Erhard EV-4 was still good. It participated in some major battle actions in 1917, then returned to domestic law enforcement duties. A small number were still produced in 1919, and some armored vehicles continued to serve as police vehicles into the early stages of World War II, making it quite long-lived. The combat weight of the Earhart EV-4 armored vehicle was nearly 8 tons, with a length of 5.3 meters, a width of 2 meters, and a height of 2.85 meters. Its maximum road speed was about 60 kilometers per hour, with a maximum range of 250 kilometers. The standard armament was generally three water-cooled machine guns, with a crew of eight to nine people.